what to do, YouTube? Today, reacting to the Amazing Digital Circus Episode Three: The Mystery of Milden Hall Manor. All right, I bet we're back with uh, Amazing Digital Circus after another six months, and we got Episode Three. Dude, I was so sad that Murder Drones left, but now we have Major, the Amazing Digital Circus, and I think another show coming out soon, which is really cool. I wonder how that show is gonna go. All right, I'm not talking. Let's get into it. I think on the thumbnail we saw a Kingler with a shotgun. Let's see what that. Let's see. All right. any longer sure you can we can't die from oxygen deprivation remember but it still feels like i'm gonna die try not thinking about it or you could toughen up i want to see what your funny cartoon body does hey take it easy oh take it easy that's you all right <laughs> here i go all right we've entered the blue zone <laughs> hey there's something new Okay, we're getting red. Oh, orange. Yeah. What? <laughs> Why are we just going through the rainbow at this point? No, it's it's still so good to see the cast like all just chilling. I, God damn, bro, what's wrong with Kingler, bro? Look at his eye, all that eye strain. Oh. Green. Damn. Oh, look, now she's turning blue. She was already blue. <laughs> huh. Guess the hue shift just gets faster. Why am I the one doing this? Why not one of you guys? Because something different happens with each person. For instance, Kinger starts glowing, Ragatha's hair noodles stick up, Gangle's mask starts spinning, and Zubal turns straight. My limbs straighten up and fuck off. What about you? He refuses to show us because he's a coward. I want to keep the mystery alive. What do you, the viewers, think it is? What? Okay. Don't break the Why fourth wall. When there's adventure to be had, today's what? adventure is the What's mystery that? of Mildenhall Manor. That's right. This big spooky oh. mansion has been rumored to be filled to the brim with paranormal activity. Oh it's no! To solve the house's deep mysteries and capture all the ghoulish ghost activity you can. And for the first time ever, you can. <laughs> Where's Zubal? I made this adventure really cool and um, mature, just for them. <laughs> what? The NPCs aren't going to become self-aware in this one, right? How should I know? I'm not the boss. Oh, wait, yes, I am. <laughs> anyway, everybody into the fractal noise. It's adventuring time. Hey. Oh, this place is spooky. I wonder how hard Kane's gonna go with the scare factor. I hope this adventure doesn't end up being another horrible nightmare. I'm not really a fan of horror, and I don't really handle jump scares that well. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that wasn't even scary. What? You scared of the vacuum cleaner too? Hey, be nice yeah. to her. She's had a rough couple of days. Her and everyone else. Right. God, the last episode we saw, we saw Crocodile. I actually was so happy if he was actually going to join the, join the the fray or join that. And then out of nowhere, he he just oh, kills him and turns him into confetti, which is crazy. Gangle. Does anybody hear that? <laughs> Hi, I'm Ghostly, <laughs> and I'll be your guide today. Why won't they go back in? <laughs> I remember my first wild take. I don't know why they're not retracting, though. That didn't happen for me. Before you continue on your adventure, you have to choose which door you're going to go through. The door on the left is the normal door. Rated yeah. wow for all ages. <laughs> the door on the right is the really scary door. Rated hot for mature zoobles only. It's up to you to be Jax? Why did you do that, bro? Dude, it's always Jax. It's always the, like the trickster or whatever. I'm sorry, I'm just putting this over here. But also, just going on the fact with Jax makes everything harder. Just like in the last episode, he was like, "Oh crap, my bad, y'all." 
No, but like still, on the fact of last episode, he literally, I think, had a car, uh, the, dump, the dump truck or whatever, and then he tr kept telling <laughs> Tangles to do that, or I'm going to show your things, which is, or show, like, your, like, um, picture collection? Oh, I don't know what it was, or something like that. What? I thought we were supposed to capture all the ghosts. Uh, which door should we choose? Hmm, not sure. Let's try this out. <laughs> Kingly just trying to put the eyes back in. Ow. Don't worry, Kangle, I'll get it for you. <laughs> Why did <laughs> King? Oh, oh my God, no. <laughs> oh, that's the scary door. Zubo, come on out. I just want to talk to you. Hmm. Oh, I know. What, could you have done that the whole time? Zubo, I, I just want to get to the bottom of why you keep skipping all my amazing adventures. You could end up really hurting Bubbles' feelings. <sighs> Bubbles' feelings? N enough about Bubbles' feelings. How about your feelings? <laughs> <laughs> so, what's on your mind, Zubal? <laughs> I would rather not. <laughs> That's hilarious! Go on. No, I mean, I've already told you what my problem is. You just never remember because... Uh, never mind. My mind is a beeswax polished coconut. Nothing <laughs> ever escapes these cakes. So what can I do to make my adventures more appealing to you? See? This is exactly what I'm talking about. All you're thinking about is your adventures. It has nothing to do with the adventures. It's more just... Ugh, forget it. You're probably not even listening. Zubal, look at this cool bee I drew. <laughs> answer the question. Answer the question that she literally just said. All right. Um, where are we? Her eyes are back in her socket, though. I wonder what this thing is. My name is Baron Theodore Mildenhall. Hunting has been a hobby of mine for as long as I can remember. Although one could say it eventually became more of an obsession. The creature you see before you is one I've been pursuing for years. Not quite a man, but not quite an animal. Something unholy, something evil. I took it upon myself to spend every waking moment doing all I could to protect my family from the creature, hoping that when I'd eventually killed it, I would be freed from this awful feeling, this inescapable dread. I was wrong. That's it? You know, I'm starting to think. Think what? How about we try to find a way back up to the others? Okay, cool, that's great. I love these adventures. We could always ride this thingy up. It's locked. It's locked, of course. It's locked. I love that it's locked. Tuesday, December 4th. Although I had shot the creature multiple times in its vitals and severed its head to keep it a prize on my wall, my troubles were just beginning. I took my eyes off the body for what felt like only a minute, and when I looked back, the body was gone. The creature was not dead. If that head, if that head, if that head, right, jump scares me, I'm done, bro. I'm done. Head. And it would be back to reclaim what I'd taken from it. If anyone is listening to this, all I ask of you is one thing. Do not let the head out of your sight. You have been warned. Well, this is some rather inconvenient lore placement. I got it! And this is some rather inconvenient darkness. Uh, ah, ah, what was that? Was that you? No. Oh, wait. 
You mean me grabbing you right now? Yeah, that was me. Is this your hand? Uh, that's my eye. Yes, but which eye? I really don't think that matters. Will you stop touching my eye? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> What happened? I just remembered a really funny joke. I j you, why did you scream then? Maybe it wasn't actually that funny. Oh my god. I think we should hold on to each other and slowly make our way back into the trophy room. Uh, sounds fine to me. Uh -huh. What was that? What's what? That's the that's the terrifying music. Something bad about to happen. Oh, it's no. probably just magnets, or a boat. A boat? Well, whatever the case, I think we should be completely quiet. I. Okay. Yeah, I agree. You know, you're really hit and miss with these things sometimes. Wait. There's a fly in here. Don't you think that's making a lot of noise? Oh God, there is a fly. And gotcha! I think I got him. I can't see my hands. I'm sorry, could you speak up? I couldn't quite make that out. Tommy! I think this might be the creature from the tapes! to torture my guests any torment i inflict is 100 percent accidental like any good war criminal we weren't even talking about that i really couldn't give less of a crap about the adventures then what is your problem zubal i'm trying my best to remember but both you and my brain won't tell me it's me remember i don't like myself I hate this body. I hate all these stupid removable pieces. I just want to find something that feels good. Oh, yeah. Now I remember why I couldn't remember. It's because that problem is already solved. Simply swap out your undesirable Zubal parts for better ones. I've been trying to find parts I like since the day I got here. So, back to the adventures. Forget it. Forget it? Just forget it. Forget what? Kane. Nobody likes your stupid adventures. Ha <laughs> ha, good one, Zubal. Ragatha's just too nice to say anything. Jax just likes to fight with everybody. Gangle's <laughs> too shy to speak up. Kinger's insane. And, and Pomni, she looks traumatized every time she comes back from one. Oh, Zubal, Zubal, Zubal. Making adventures is my art. It's all I exist to do, all I'm good at. And, uh... What you're saying could imply that I'm bad at the only thing I'm good at, and that... <laughs> that'd be... Uh, whose therapy session is this again? Oh yeah! We need to get to the bottom of your behavioral issues! I'm gonna show you some ink blots, and you're gonna say the first word that comes to your mind. Oh. oh no, we're back here. Uh, what? Oh god, where are we now? I'm not sure. A cellar of some kind. Oh, come on. Things have gotten far worse than I could have. That's convenient as shit. Why the hell is it going to take a corner like that? For have imagined. My paranoia had driven me to the point where I was no longer the protector my wife and theoretical children needed. Jumping at every shadow, every noise, I ended up shooting the love of my life, mistaking her for the creature. It's ironic, isn't it? 
In my attempts to protect her, I ended up becoming the monster myself. Now I wait down in my cellar, no longer having anything to protect but my own soul. If nothing else, I will slay the beast that took everything from me. How's about we take his gun? Yeah, sounds good to me. Please don't come alive. Okay, I won't. <laughs> she gotta ask nicely. You gotta ask nicely, right? You say, please don't jump scare me. Okay, I won't. Looks like we've got two shots. Let's make them count. Uh, yeah. Stay behind me. Oh! Are you serious? Just leave it to me. I can handle this. Hey! Hey! Okay, Kingler! Okay! Let's go! Come on, Kingler! That wasn't so bad. Don't come back up. Which is what I would be saying if I didn't know that the creature was actually one of God's angels. What? And anyone who brings harm to it will be dragged down into the cold, spiraling pits of hell where my soul resides. I apologize, dear listener, but I need a living host in order to escape the Hall of the Damned. And your bodies will be my only means of doing so. No way. How did he record this if he was in hell? I hope you're ready. Because the next breath you take down there will be your last, and your bodies will belong to me. Let go of me! I hate this stupid adventure! <laughs> They're just having a good old time, and now they. they are they not worried about Kingler and Pomni? What? Mm, Who's shoddy? Sorry again about your husband killing you and everything. Oh, you know how men are. Always having the silliest priorities. <laughs> Don't I know it. <laughs> if your friends see him, I only hope he doesn't bore them to death with his endless monologues. That man could turn a 57 second story into a Greek tragedy. I'll be sure to ask them next time I see him. Thanks again for the tea. I had a really nice time here. <laughs> Don't mention it. Feel free to visit any time. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Jack's the real dude. Congratulations, my little ironclad waffle cones. You've taken the pacifist route, and you should be proud of what good people you are. Unfortunately, we still need to wait until your other teammates finish their adventure before I can grant you permission to leave. I wonder how long that'll be. Oh, no. Oh, God, we're in hell now. Not really typical of what you'd think hell would be. We are literally in hell right now. Hell! Of course I'd be in hell. How could I not be in literal hell right now? Just try to stay calm. I'm sure Kane included a way to escape. Hold on. Let me try something. <laughs> hey, there's actually a staircase down there. It could be a way out. Maybe it'll work for us since we still have our bodies? Though I'm worried about what that tape said earlier. I'm just gonna try going fast. Wait, Pommy! Oh. Oh. Oh, they're little souls. They're little souls. They just possessed her right there. Hey, 
souls are attracted to living things just want a vessel to be able to leave with man seven years of computer science for this huh <laughs> why every day i spend here is one nightmare after the next i knew it would end up like this he, he just wants me to suffer i really am in hell don't say that you're not in Guess we are technically in <laughs> forget about that. Don't make it worse. We just relax for a bit while nothing's chasing us. Oh no. Oh no, you jinxed it now. <laughs> it was my fault we went down this path, wasn't it? I'm really sorry for that. Why have you been acting so different lately. <laughs> I have, haven't I? I'm normally not too good with memories, but being surrounded by darkness always brings me back to a certain time. Oh, we're getting a flashback. My wife had Hi. abstracted. I don't recall the exact string of events, but we both ended up in the fort together, and it was dark. The darkness seemed to calm her down a bit. The harsh, jagged edges smoothed out, and she didn't seem aggravated anymore. She wasn't the same as before, but she was calm enough to touch one last time before she got sent to the cellar. I'm always taken back. Kingler's wife was here too? I can see why he went insane. Oh my god. Poor man. That moment when engulfed in darkness. You had a wife? Like here in the circus? Yeah. She was funny, creative, really into entomology. I used to hate bugs, but she somehow got me to like them. It's not the most cheerful memory, but it's one I at least have control over. I know how it can feel in this circus. Sometimes it all just feels pointless. Yeah. But it's not. Not if you have people who care about you. Good memories can do a lot. Hold on to them. And cherish the people around you. You never know when they'll be gone. Damn, Kingler being deep. Damn, okay. Dude, the King. Like, when I first saw Kingler, I thought I was like, oh, he's just gonna be like one of these random Sonic characters. But no, he's. God damn, he's so cool. I actually love his character. Love his character. Man. In this world, the worst thing you can do is make someone think they're not wanted or loved. Mm. I'm glad you're here with me. Dude, like, how are they gonna get out of this? You know, I've been thinking about that last tape. He said, the next breath you take down there will be your last. Maybe we can get through if we don't breathe. I'm not very good at holding my breath. Well, how about we try not thinking about it? We leave and we go back to the circus. You're just gonna go back to being crazy. You're not gonna remember any of this, are you? Don't worry about me. As long as you remember it, things will be okay. Oh, You're very no. strong, Tommy. And I know you'll be able to get through this. Just hold on to me. We'll get through it together. Dude. You ready?
it's gonna be glowing light. <laughs> Damn! Oh. Kinger, are you guys okay? Was it scary? I'm fine, actually. What happened up here? Uh, don't worry about that. <laughs> Hami was very brave. At least I think she was. Oh no, you already forgot. Something like that. Hey, Ragatha. Yeah? I just want to say thanks for always being concerned about me. I feel like through everything. I haven't really been appreciative enough about that. Uh, oh, thank you, Pomni. I just want to make sure you're doing all right. You know, we care about you. Did you remember to get my comedy mask? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm, I'm just starting to wonder if the Wild West was even a real direction at all. Whoopsie daisy, looks like everybody completed the adventure and they're coming home. Quick, hmm? pretend we weren't having a therapy session. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, my meowing milkmaids. Don't ever call us that again. <laughs> <laughs> so what was it like being stuck with the nutcase? It wasn't that bad, actually. <laughs> Dude. Bro, King Lou actually. The fact that King Lou was actually like kept his calm, he was calm, cool, and collective, and did like his, had like his own thing with it as well. Bro, King Lou is so cool. He's such a cool character, honestly. The fact that he forgot everything was actually like insane. Bro, if y'all did like this, bro, please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what else you want to see. This was so good. I cannot wait for the next episode. I love y'all. I'll see y'all boys later, man. Peace.